Hey guys, I'm back <laughs> with another video. So we're doing a review of Titans Issue 1 Beast World Tour Central City. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is insane. This comic book is insane. <laughs> Just the amount of mutations and transformations in this book is like... Mm, it's weird um so you have starro now starro is a <laughs> there's so many there are there are like issues like they have starro in it like starro was in uh the adventures of superman starro was in batman beyond the call um starro was in suicide squad starro was in a lot of different media. Once again, Starro's in this one. And he's turning people into animals, like insects and rodents and cats and dogs and giraffes and whatever. And um, alligators. Definitely alligators. You, you, you can't have you can't have a mirage of animals without including alligators. So, this is supposed to be part of Amanda Waller's Revenge. Now, for people that are a little bit confused, and I don't blame you, Amanda, the Amanda Waller that's in this series is the Amanda Waller from Earth 3, which is the crime syndicate um, Earth. And her goal is to be a dictator. That's basically what that's basically when you talk about the crime syndicate not everybody on that earth is bad but they're controlled and dictated by really bad people um i'll give you some um yeah so um yeah um so it's these um it's these spores and they enter a person's body and it transforms them um Okay, so I will say this. I really am going to say this. This was a this was a different comic. This was a different comic, and I will say, different is all is not always a bad thing. And I did enjoy this issue a lot. It was just so out there, and so like what the, what am i reading like i am like oh <laughs> um but i enjoyed it a lot i thought that they that they did a great job in you know in drawing these transformations and and everything so i enjoyed it a lot i did i did but <laughs> i have not really i'm not really in a hurry to read issue two but I will say, if you are interested in reading issue two, go ahead and read it. I had no issue uh, with issue one, but I will get back to it at some point in the future. So I'm going to give it uh, five stars. It is just a wild and zany kind of comic, and I enjoyed it. So I will be... <laughs> So, uh, before I leave you guys, um, I did look at the list of Dawn of DC issues. These are issues I have never read, and I will be reading all of them, and I will be giving you guys um, reviews of it and everything. So, because I kind of want to get, I kind of want to be like up, up to date on, up to date on certain things. So I will see you guys around.